Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Magic Wand tool allows you to select a consistently colored area or region in the image without having to manually trace its outline by hand. To use this tool, click the Magic Wand tool button over in the toolbox. It shares a spot on the toolbox with the Quick Selection tool, which we'll cover in the next lesson. So we'll give it a right click and select the Magic Wand tool. Now up in the options bar, you set your standard selection options, including what type of selection you want to make. In this case, we want to create a new selection. Then you can also set the tolerance using this checkbox right here. And you enter a value anywhere from 0 to 255 into this box. A lower number will select colors in the image that are very similar to the pixels that you click in the image. A higher number will select a broader range of similar colored pixels in the image. To define the selection that you make as having smoother curves versus a jagged edge, of course, you can check the anti-alias checkbox to the right. Now you can also select the contiguous checkbox right here. And if it's checked, it will select only pixels in the tolerance range specified that are touching the pixels that you click. If it's unchecked, all of the pixels that match in the image will be selected. Well, since our goal is to only select this single flower right here, we want to make sure that's checked. If the sample all layers or use all layers in versions CS5 and previous, if that checkbox is selected, then the magic wand tool will select the color clicked in all of the layers. If unchecked, it will select pixels of the color you click in the selected layer only. So once you have the settings you desire, you just hold the magic wand tool over the color that you want to select in the image and give it a click. Now all of the pixels within the tolerance range specified will be selected. Remember that if the contiguous option is checked, then only pixels that are within the tolerance range specified and adjacent to those pixels that you clicked will be selected. Now, we can see that with one click, we can see that our selection isn't quite what we were going for. What do we do in this case? Well, we could redo the selection and we could increase the tolerance, or we could go over and select Add to Selection and click again into our image to refine it. So however you want to use this. Now as you get closer to the edges here where it's touching these, what you might find if you click, and depending on your tolerance settings, is that you'll start to select some of these pixels down here too. So it really just depends, again, on the selection that you're trying to make and the image that you're using. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.